Hello and welcome to this session in which we will explain the difference between tax credits and tax deductions. What are tax credit and tax deduction? They are different tools, different mechanism that Congress, it doesn't have to be the Congress, it can be the, the government in that particular country, they can utilize, they can use, they can deploy to reduce a taxpayer overall tax liability. So why would the government create credits and deductions if they want to reduce your tax liability, why don't they just reduce your tax rate? Isn't that easier? Well, the reason the government uses tax credits and tax deduction is to encourage certain behavior. So the government wants you to do certain things. How would What would they do? They create incentives. How do they create incentives? They create what's called tax credits and tax deduction. For example, for education purposes, if they want you to attend schools, they will create either a credit or a deduction or both. For example, in the U.S., we have tax credit and we have tax deductions for education. That's going to encourage you. That's going to help you save on your taxes if you undertake this activity, which is education. Also, if they want to encourage you to use alternative energy, what will they do? They will give you tax credits or tax deduction. For example, to buy a car like Tesla, that uses alternative energy, not fossil fuel, or to install energy saving equipment in your household, or for family formation. For example, if you want to get married, you want to have kids, the government will give you more tax credits. Now, but we need to understand what's the difference between tax credit and tax deduction, because if they both serve the same purpose, what is the difference between them? Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. Starting with tax deduction. What is a deduction? A deduction is an amount. It's a dollar amount that you can subtract, deduct from your taxable income. So your taxable income could be a certain amount, $100,000 for the sake of illustration. Then you can deduct something from it. Let's assume 10,000. Well, if you can reduce it by 10,000, now your taxable income is 90,000. Deduction reduces the amount of income that's subject to tax. So rather than paying taxes on the 100,000, they gave me this deduction of 10,000. So it's reducing your taxable income. This is what a deduction is doing. It's taken a slice out of that amount that you are subject to taxation. And deductions in our taxes, they can be either considered itemized deductions, which is specific expenses, which we'll talk about those later on, or standard deduction, which the government gives you a standard deduction, which is a fixed amount, a standard amount. Now, how do you save on, on deductions? Well, the actual saving from a tax deduction, depending on something we call your marginal tax rate. Now, what is your marginal tax rate? That's your highest tax rate. What would you pay on the last penny in taxes? As deduction lower your taxable income, thus the taxes you owe. So if they can reduce your taxable income, for example, you're going to pay the most taxes on the last dollar you earned because our tax system is progressive. Progressive means the more you make, the more you pay. Therefore, the more you can shave, the more you can reduce your taxable income, the better off you are. So let's assume your annual income is 60000 and you have a tax deduction of 10000 So generally speaking, not generally speaking, you earn 60000 from your wages. For some reason, let's assume the standard deduction, which is that's not the case, but let's assume the standard deductions happens to be 10000 The government gave you a standard deduction of 10000 Now, your taxable income is 50000 so how did that 10,000 deduction saved you money on your taxes? Let's assume for the sake of illustration, your marginal tax rate is 25%. It means that on the last pennies you earn, you have to pay 25%. Well, if you were able to reduce your taxable income by 10,000, well, guess what? 
because I reduced my taxable income by 10,000, I'm going to multiply my saving by 21, 25% because otherwise I would have, have paid taxes on that 10,000. In other words, I saved 2,500 on my taxes. Why? Because I got a tax deduction. That's what I did. Now, here's what I want you to understand about tax deduction. The same tax deduction might benefit two individual people differently. What does that mean? It means if I am in a different tax bracket, let's assume I make $300,000 for the sake of illustration, then I have a deduction of the same $10,000. Now, if my tax rate, because I make more money, is 35%, now my savings is 10,000 times 35%. It means I saved $3,500. Notice this: the amount of deduction is the same, for myself and this other taxpayer, the 60,000 taxpayer. However, the higher is your tax rate, the more is the benefit of the deduction. So the higher your tax rate, so the more money you make, the higher is the tax benefit of the deduction. Why? Because it's applied to the last dollar you earn and that's, that's, that's taxed the most. Now you would learn about many, many, many deductions down the road. In taxes, we like deductions. Think of them as, as expenses, something you can deduct on your taxes. Don't worry what deductions do you get. You'll have many deductions. You will worry about them later on. Now let's talk about tax credit because that's the other tool that they have. A credit is a direct reduction in the amount of tax you owe. Unlike a deduction, a credits are subtracted from your tax liability, providing a dollar for a dollar reduction. What does that mean? Remember in a deduction, we said, well, let's assume you made 100,000, you can deduct 10,000. The tax credit is different. The tax credit says, now compute your tax bill. So let's assume this is 90,000. And for the sake of illustration, you have to pay the government, you have to pay the government 30%. So that's 0.3 of 90,000. Your tax bill is 27,000. That's your tax bill. Okay, after you took your deduction, your tax bill is 27,000. Here comes the tax credit. The tax credit reduces your tax bill, reduces your tax liability. Now let's assume for some reason or another, you have tax credit of 5,000. You can reduce your tax bill by 5,000. Now your taxes are 22,000. It's reducing, if you have a 5,000 credit of tax credit, it's reducing your tax liability dollar for dollar. Remember the 10,000, when we work the $10,000 example, it, it assuming 25% tax rate, well, let's assume 30%, it's, it's only going to reduce your tax bill by 3,000. The $5,000 tax credit, this is a tax credit, reduce your tax bill by exactly $5,000 for a dollar. Now we have to understand that tax credit, some of them are considered refundable and some of them are considered non-refundable. So what's the difference between the two? A refundable tax credit, which is good, you want it to be refundable, right? Can result in a tax refund even if the amount is greater than the tax you owe. What does that mean? It means even if you wipe up, wipe all your taxes out through the credit, let's assume you owe $3,000 in taxes. That's your tax bill. That's your tax bill. And you have credit of 3200 Those are the credits, all the credits which we'd learn about later. Guess what? Because you have more credits than a tax bill, if, if the credit happens to be a refundable, the government will give you a check for $200 because it's a refundable credit. Non-refundable credit, let's assume you have credits of 3200 but they are non-refundable. Guess what? The 3000 will only bring down your tax bill to zero and you, the government will not give you a check. The best is to look at an example, just to kind of illustrate the point, although I look at an example, but let's look at another example. Suppose your annual income is 60,000 and the tax liability happens to be eight. If you are eligible for a 3,000 tax credit, you would subtract, so your tax bill is eight, you have a credit of three, now you owe $5,000. Now let's assume, let's assume that this credit is refundable, that, that this 3,000 credit is refundable. And let's assume your tax bill was only, was only 2,000. Okay. So your tax bill now, we're assuming it's 2,000 and you have $3,000 of credits. If it's refundable, what's going to happen? The government will send you a check for $1,000. And this is why it's a refundable 
tax credit. So understand the difference between refundable and non-refundable. Now we have certain credits that are refundable and certain that are non. So this is a list of non-refundable credit and you can take a look at this list. Don't worry, we're going to look at each one of them separately. Child and dependent care credit, lifetime credit, adoption, retirement, so on and so forth. And we have some refundable earned income credit, child tax credit, additional child tax credit. Also, we have here non-refundable portion of the American Opportunity Tax Credit and the same credit part of it could be refundable. We'll talk about all of those later. Now, from a form perspective, from a form perspective, the credits are tax and credit. For example, on your form 1040 on page two, they're going to have a place where you have a list of credits and there's going to be another place. For example, this is where you put your child tax credit and you'll have to fill out form schedule 8812. Um, and here you have other credit called earned income credit. Here you have American Opportunity Credit. I'm just showing you where the credit goes. The credit goes as payment, as a reduction in your taxes. And we'll work with the credits later on. Also, what's going to happen is you're going to have a bunch of credits that are considered non-refundable. And this is some of them. I, I listed some of them. We're going to go through most of them. And this is Schedule 3, Form 1040. So you have all these ref non-refundable credit. You add them up. Then you'll take them to your 1040 eventually. And they will go on your 1040 as part of your as part of your credit, which is line 31, amount from Schedule 3, line 15. Now, if you're looking in a different year, it could be the credit could be in a different place, but overall, that's the idea, listing of credits. But this is the form. These are the general form. So in a summary, what we can say, tax deduction reduce your taxable income, your income, your wages, while tax credit reduce your tax liability, you reduce your tax bill, the amount that you have to work, you can, you can reduce it. The actual saving from tax deduction, remember, depend on your marginal tax rate. Two different people could have the same deduction, but different effect on their savings, depending on their tax rate. Again, the higher your tax rate, the more advantageous is your deduction. However, tax credit provide dollar for dollar. So if you have a tax credit for a dollar tax credit, I have a dollar tax credit, they're equal to each other. What should you do now? Go to Farhat Lectures, look at additional resources, MCQs, true false. That's going to help you do what? Prepare for the CPA exam, prepare for your accounting courses, prepare for any professional certification you are studying for, enrolled agent exam. Good luck, study hard, invest in yourself, and stay safe.